Hey everybody, Matt here from Murphy Mobile Homes. Today we're going to take a look at the Shoal Creek. We are here at Titanium Homes in Tyler, Texas, right off of Highway 31 on the west side of town. Newest dealership in town. We opened up January 1 of this year. Been doing really well, selling quite a few. And uh, this Timber Creek product here, this one's called the Shoal Creek, but this house uh, and other houses from this factory have really been a driving force for this lot this year. They're a custom product and they're on your higher end, so they have a lot of flexibility uh, and a lot of really cool options that you don't typically see in your standard manufactured home. For instance, if you look underneath the eave of this one, you can see uh, you got some LED lights. Heck, you don't see that on most site built houses. Uh, these are all, of course, wrapped in OSB sheathing underneath your vinyl here. Uh, they have a few different exterior options as well. This one's got the board and batten vinyl with the cedar shakes around underneath your dormer. And it also has a rock feature on the front. The slate stone, which pairs really well with uh, a slate stone underpinning or skirting. They have several different options for that. We sell them in different colors. You can have one to match or you can do a contrasting well yeah let's go take a look this is a three bed two bath this was rolled out out their show in Biloxi this year in March it's done really well for them since it does come standard with this inset porch you got little exterior outlets nice fixed window uh, gridless craftsman door So, Timber Creek is a tape and texture product. Uh, this house has a six, eight and a half foot sidewall. So a little bit taller ceilings. This one comes standard with your two by four exterior construction, but you can upgrade that for a pretty small fee. It's like maybe 2,000 bucks. You can do the two by six exterior walls. We brought this model in with the electric fireplace, but they do have wood burning as well. Uh, ceiling fan options and all the good stuff really good dining room space uh, you got a very good open layout here which is still everybody's favorite thing but what I don't think gets a lot of credit on this house is your entrance way so this is the back side of the living room here so there is your little stub walls to kind of provide its own area for your foyer so if you have some type of decor little buffet table type deal go really well here or maybe even a hall tree to uh you know unload jackets and bags and shoes but a lot of good lighting in this house and uh make a way to the kitchen now they do their standard wood hardwood cabinets This one's got the two-tone with the black and the light brown, but you can of course match it. They got different cabinets and countertop colors. Raised island here. No sink, so it's a full workspace, which a lot of people really like. And you do have outlets, I believe, on the other side. Yeah, there they are down there. They blend in well. And then this one's got the microwaves on the island. Pot and pan drawers in the middle. <coughs> Excuse me. Really big kitchen window. And it does open as well. And your real brick uh, paver backsplash. This is stone. Really nice. But you also have a really cool pantry. It's got a countertop, some under storage, and uh, you have some bulk storage in the middle. And then you have your cabinetry, or your, uh, sorry, your shelves. Back here with the chance window for a little extra lighting, so you don't always have to you know, turn on the light if you don't want to. But they are LED, so it doesn't really cost you anything to do that. Uh, let's make our way down the hall. Uh, one of the features of main features of this house, I guess, is in the utility room down there. So we're gonna make our way this way. 
This one, oh yeah, this one has the storage locker in the guest bath. If I can get all this in the shot, but you have, you know, your linens, all that, and hang up your stuff. And you also have uh, more storage in here, so I guess you can put towels in here for your shower. Get the large Vanderbilt one piece fiberglass combo tub shower. It's very large if you're use those little trailer guest baths. This is not that. Uh, they also offer the five panel interior doors throughout. Very nice upgrade. Very, very secure. We didn't do any carpet in this house. So we got hard flooring all the way through, uh, wood shelves in your guest closet. It's a little finer tuned stuff like that is what separates Timber Creek. They build a very, very strong product. Very good, reasonable price. Now, to the laundry room. You have your mop sink, pretty standard. Well, I say that, this is a really large compared to most, uh, and it's stainless steel. A lot of times you'll see the acrylic. Uh, and then you have your dog wash station. And this is what everybody loves about this house. It does make life easier. As somebody who has two Border Collies uh, who are not particularly fond of water, who don't just like to jump in, <laughs> they require a little extra, so it does help, you know, I can imagine this sounds nice to have, I wish I had one. Um, and then you also have another coat hooks in here, but this also acts as your water heater access panel. Uh, so it gives you a little extra workspace or usable space in here where otherwise it'd just be a framed out little door that you can't do anything with. And of course your washer dryer there. Uh, little small things. This is your electric panel cover box or whatever you want to call it. So you don't just have the ugly uh, meter box panel just hanging out. All right let's make our way to the main bedroom on this side. It is pretty pretty awesome. This house is a three bed two bath uh, right at 2,000 square feet. Uh, very, very solid house, my man. Yeah. Water closet for your toilet, and then your nice 72 inch tile shower. Ceramic all the way up to the ceiling. And you have the sink that adjusts or goes up whenever you don't need it. Get out of the way. And you have separate shower heads. You have the rainfall and the mobile. Two different faucets. And take another look. Faucet, wood shelving with transom light. Two big storage racks, or sweater racks, sorry. And then of course, more shelving back here. Yeah, this is the Shoal Creek at Titanium Homes, so Tyler. We're right off of 31 on the west side of town, like you're going to Chandler or Athens. We are uh, independently operated. This is an independent manufacturer. We like to work close with independent manufacturers. We believe the personal quality that you get from those will ring a higher success rate. Uh, less angry customers means more houses to be sold, more houses to be bought, and uh, keeps everybody happy. So yeah, so let me know what y'all think and I uh, appreciate y'all watching this. I do uh, try to get more videos out here lately, so look for, Check back on the page. I try to get them out 
Thursday, Friday of each week. I'll be doing more, so stay tuned. And if you want to see something specific, let me know. If you have any questions about this house or how to reach us, please let us know down in the comments. Uh, Facebook is typically the best way at Titanium Homes of Tyler. Uh, if you want to contact us directly, we go to Texas, all of Texas, Louisiana, Miss, uh, Mississippi maybe, Arkansas, and Oklahoma. So thank you guys.